Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. In the last episode, we made it into the temple that uh, is to... Uh-oh. Two things. We made it into the temple where we're trying to uh, access the Inferni Diadem. So he's powered up to the Eventually. Yeah, we've got a lot of experience. If I really felt like it, I could level up like a mother in here. Come on. More of you sons of bitches. Yeah, and I am gonna try to edit out battles. Uh, I'll just say uh, stuff when I'm gonna edit them out. I'm gonna be like, blah, blah, blah. And then they will be edited out. Ooh, there's an item over there. I'd like it a lot. Alright, look, they didn't burp out whatever crap they were gonna do, like, fire crap they were gonna burp out. How nice of them. Yay! Alright, someone go up a level. I'm gonna try going down first here. Hopefully that'll warp me to death. And if not, then I will be sad. Alright, looks like I got warped to the left. No, maybe not. There's another treasure over there. There's too many treasures! What are all these treasures? Oh god, I want them all. I'm so greedy. I'm the greediest of the greed. Really. Yeah, man, I'm gonna use 
the electric power. I'm gonna become one one with electricity. Oh god, there's two treasures. The ether. See, that could kill everyone if I wasn't careful. You know what, I'm just gonna use this, because this will kill them. Hug. This place is long. And the encounter rate is not helping. I'm just taking this. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Oh, we got an ambrosia. Warping all over the place. Oh, look at this. We can actually run fast. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Let's save it here. Alright, let's continue. What are we going to have to fight here? Hey, look at who it is. I don't know who it is. I'm not lying. Another dark sister. Go ahead and mock me, you insolent bitch. You do so at your own peril. I am Pyre. Dark sister flame, this is where your life end. Sapphire. Mother. Sheeta. What? I thought it was fitting. Yeah, you, you can't win. So is Lord Zexter like uh, Golbez here because you people trust so much in uh, him. But you will find out that your trust is no good. As Zeria friggin' dominates you. Like you're a bitch. Ugh, I don't wanna even use it. I wish she had like an ability that I wish she had an ability that could uh I don't know, heal her, 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 her. That would be amazing. Ooh, a little fire. Whoopsie, wow, wow. Yeah, can you handle 2,000 damage? I think not. You're almost a quarter of the way dead, and I've only been here for two rounds. You know, and, and you know what I'm gonna say, too? It's not really fair. Let's read the inscription. Why do you keep calling him Lee? His name is Magus. Yeah. Damn you, Lee. 
twice born by fire, twice defeated by its own master, shall the infernal die and be reborn into the world once more. So must it be. Interesting. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> All right, we did it. Yeah, let's go to Valdrace now. Let us head. Uh oh, meanwhile, I like when they do meanwhiles. They're fun. King Gaston, our legions are preparing for the invasion of the Rim Gear. Blah, 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 blah. Bridge troll and this guy. Hey, and there's King Gaston. He's got red hair. He's got ear piercings. He's pretty cool. gonna go see Galena, I guess. And look, there she is. She's barely wearing any clothes now that I think about it. I have an image in my head of a distraught woman, unable to fend for herself, yet those words, I find myself surprised. Yeah, that is true. Oh, look at the hat. You're... You know what, Gaston, wasn't he the bad guy in, uh, I think he was. Yeah, I guess. I should have been able to get through that that uh that thing in one episode. I, I really am sorry about not editing out battles. Alright, let's come over here and talk to you. You're the item man, right? Let's purchase a crap ton of these, although they are getting more and more useless. Let's, let's purchase just a couple of these. Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh these are getting a little less useless. Let's head to Valdrace. Finally. We're gonna head there. The kingdom that... The kingdom that is, uh... Yeah. Yes, of course. Of course. We put a cloaking device. Yeah, let's move on. Oh, cool. How nice. With the Inferni died, then we don't have to fight any battles. Let's see, that's nice. But anyways, uh, yeah. We got a cool device or something. Going into the home of the enemy. Who doesn't like going into the home of the enemy? We're gonna take him down. Oh, we're gonna lose the shit. This sucks. Oh, crud, we lost the ship. 
now we're in Valdres. If this is the prison, I don't want to be here yet. Why do all these guys want to take on these those guys anyways? If you were smart, you would be like, let's leave well enough alone. You know what I mean? Personally, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother dealing with the the, Valdri the armies and all that. I mean, they're a scary bunch of folks. Let's equip you with this stuff. Look at that. Nice. What was the other mythical thing I got? Bow, bow. Oh, look at you, huh? You've got arrows. You know. Head. Tits. Bows. I got exactly what I was aiming at. I think that was her line. I forget. But you know Arya Stark, right? Yeah, well, I don't even want to go to the castle yet. I just want to check out... I just want to check out all the areas before I head into the main, the main room. Hey, buddy. Why do you guys want to destroy everyone? I mean, I know Magus, uh, he killed like a bunch of you guys or something. I don't know. But that doesn't mean you gotta go killing everybody, or maybe you do. I don't know. All these shields here. You see those this, with the squares? I want to say Spartans used to wear them or something like that. And you know what? The, uh, that, that's like 11. Yeah, I'm gonna have to click that. I'm sorry. I'd keep the one on, but I can't. Alright, so we got a mithril blade and a mithril staff and a mithril bow. can do whatever they do to us ever because I won't let them uh, I'll sell one of them I'll sell one of them one of those two of those hottest in the world I wonder I'll keep a shield get out of here you know what no because they probably don't help iron sure heavy rope that resist against poison. Keep that. Uh, you know what? Let's keep that just in case. Iron helmet. Keep it like that. Let's see. Dread blade. Uh, yeah, I'll sell it now. Why does it always go up now? Much. I'm gonna keep. This is amazingly terrible right here. Stop, stop, stop! Just stay at the same spot! You know what? I'm selling it. I am gonna keep the other sword just uh, because it, it can be used as an item, or you can use it to. Uh, I can equip it and inflict darkness if I really need to. Alright, let's see what else is here, and then I'm going to stop, and we'll explore Valdry some more in the next episode. Yeah, you are strong, you should. Sure, let's, let's rest. No three-way while we're in a, uh, in Valdry's armor, I guess? I guess not. Alright, anything here? Anything here? 
I kind of like the idea of sneaking in here, but I, uh, the diadem is kind of a funny way to do it, I guess. Does it make everyone into a soldier? Uh, nothing. Anyways, in the next episode, we'll continue exploring the Valdrace continent or empire or whatever. So yeah, this has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you again in the next episode.